Okie dokie. So I've done my base as we can see. So I'm just going to do an eye tutorial today. I think I might do a full face within the next couple of weeks for you guys. Because I have done a lot of just eye tutorials. And I know you guys do like seeing the full routine. So I will do that for you. But for now I'll link above my current routine for you guys. Otherwise let's move into the eyes. <laughs> So, you guys know me. I'm, like, not usually prepared with an eye look, but today I actually have an eye look in mind. I'm just not sure I want to use, like, a blue base for it or my MAC Pro Longwear paint pot. I'm just tossing up between the two, like, which ones? Which one do I want to do? I think because it is going to be, like, a halo eye look, like a spotlight halo eye, I think I'll go in with this but if it was to be like a smoky eye then I would have gone in with this just because when I'm going to be carving out that halo I don't want this kind of mixing in with the colour so I'll use my Soft Ochre Pro Longwear Paint Pot to prime my eyes and also bring it up to the brow bone to carve those babies out as well. I want a crisp defined brow for this really extravagant eye look that we're going to do today. And then also just bring it into my inner corner to prime those as well. Yeah, now the base is like nice and tacky and like even. Just what I want. Especially for like a dramatic eye look, you do need to kind of prime the lids to help give a bit of stickiness, adhesiveness and neutralise the lids. Otherwise you just have all this discoloration peeking through the eyeshadows and it can actually impact your final look. So for our transition colour, I'm going to take Poolside from Makeup Geek and apply this on with a soft crease brush. And I'm just like blowing it out towards the outer corner. So bringing it all the way out and dragging it pretty far in towards the inner corner. So guys, like I would prefer to be using my 228 fluffy crease brush, but I don't know where I have put that unfortunately. And I'm kicking myself for it because it was the best blending brush. I don't want to have to get another one. I've just been making do with this soft crease brush, which is good. It's fluffy, but it's not to the extent that I want. So if you're at home creating this look, the 228, much better. Okay, let me leave this area just up here for the highlight. So I'm not dragging it up too far, I'm just kind of diffusing out the edges, adding some pigment in there, just a little bit of something something. I just did like a single eye tutorial last week, a sapphire one I think it was, I'll link it up here for ya. Um, but I just did the one eye, like it was kind of just like that angle, I was just showing the one eye. I like those tutorials when I'm just showing that because they're quicker to do, like to film. And I think I chat less in them, but although I do like chatting with you guys, that's why I kind of mix it up a bit. I'll do both eyes sometimes, a full face sometimes, just the one eye sometimes. Tell me what style you like the best. Do you like the full faces, both eyes like being done at the same time, or just the single eye looks like when I just film what myself just doing the one eye tutorial? Let me know. Comment down below guys. Hit your girl up. Let me know. There we go, so I've got the blue in the crease from inner to outer corner. Then on my petite crease, I'm going to take Neptune, again from Makeup Geek, and I'm going to place this below poolside. Just lightly, I don't actually want it to stand out too much against poolside, because I'm going to go in with like, sapphire next. So this is just to kind of help that transition, so I want every colour to fade into one another so you don't know where one begins and the other ends. It just kind of all meshes in, just creating different tones and dimension. And then just going back in with a little bit of poolside on the outer edges of Neptune. Okay, so now that we've got those two blended together, I'm going to take, what was that again? <laughs> Sapphire. And with Sapphire, I'm going to place that in the crease with a pencil brush to really deepen it up. Taking Neptune again on the petite crease, I am just softening those edges of sapphire. 
So what I'm doing, if you didn't see it before, I'm taking the side with the pigment on it and I'm angling it up towards the crease so that I'm keeping it off the lid area. So all the pigment is going straight into the crease and I turn it and kind of pack it onto the outer corner as well. It just helps me focus the pigment more so where I want it rather than just banging it on and it going everywhere. Okay, now that we have that nice little blend going on, I'm going to go in with my Sugar Pill Poison Plum Eyeshadow. And I'm going to start packing this on right where we placed the Sapphire Eyeshadow. Just kind of a smidgen below it so it transitions into that purple a bit more. So it's like those deep blues into the purple. And I'm taking Sapphire again and just kind of bouncing between those two purple and blue shadows to help them transition smoothly okay now I've got a little blend going on I'm going to go and carve out um, the inner part of the lid so I'm going to take some concealer and a concealer brush I'm just going to start creating that spotlight halo eye and with a spotlight halo eye you want to make sure that the top part is um, bigger than the bottom so it kind of tapers in so I'm just slowly with an accent brush now I just want something a bit more petite I'm just going around the socket so following the eye shape So just because I feel like it's a little bit thick and I want to bring some of that purple and blue on the outer corners back a bit and through the crease and tidy it up, I'm going to first of all take Sapphire again on my Morphe M326 brush and I'm just going to place it on the very outer edges of that concealer. Then I'm going back in with that Poison Plum shade from Sugar Peel on the outer edges of Sapphire. And I'm going along the very edge and I'm just taking it along that concealer edge not too pigmented and then now because I've kind of fixed it up we have a better idea of that concealer line so I'm just going back in over the top and keeping with that tapered eye and like that'll do that'll do donkey so I've got my little spotlight halo kind of mapped out so now we can fill it in so to fill in our little spotlight halo I'm going to take Pegasus from Makeup Geek I feel like it's just a Makeup Geek kind of day guys <laughs> and I'm going to place this over the concealer and to really get this crisp line at the top here, right at the top of the spotlight, I went in and just spritzed my brush with some finishing spray. So here's my little spotlight, so let's go back in with those previous two shadows. So I'm going to take some of Sapphire on that same Morphe brush that we used before and just apply that on the outer edges. And I'm going to mix Pegasus and Ice Queen together to really make the center of the lid, like the very, very center, like just pop. And I did re-spritz my brush so it's dampened a bit again. Alright, now we've got our awesome, awesome, like, spotlight halo eyes. I'm going to go and add some of that purple back on the inner and outer corners. So just dipping back into um, that Poison Plum shade and just kind of... Pressing that on the outer corner and blending it in. And there's a little bit on the inner corner too. And whatever's left on the brush, I'm just kind of re-bringing that back through the crease. And there we go. Oh guys, I love this look so much. Like I just can't get over it. It's so good. Definitely did better on the side than this side. I just feel like the cut crease part isn't as smooth as here. But you know, you do your best. So to finish up the lashes, I'm just going to apply some mascara and apply false lashes off camera. And I'll be right back in a sec, honey. 
So the lashes I went in with today are the Fairy Lashes from Anitude. I love them because they are quite rounded so they're the longest in the front and shortest on the inner two corners. So they complement our little spotlight halo eye and they're also just so extravagant. Right now they look a little bit intense just because I haven't done the bottom lash line and then like the wood line and everything. But I love them. So for my brow bone highlight I'm going to take Ice Queen from Makeup Geek and apply this on with a pencil brush. Because you guys know my favourite combo is Shimmer Shimmer and Ice Cream but I just wanted the white rather than the kind of champagne undertone in there so just Ice Queen today. So for my tight line and waterline I'm actually going to go in with two different pencils today. I'm going to take my Makeup Geek Full Spectrum Eyeliner Pencil in the shade Obsidian and place this on my tight line. And for my waterline, I'm going in with a nude to really open up the eyes. I just want the black to kind of help um, tie these really full lashes into my lash line a bit more seamlessly. And then with that black coal line, I'm just kind of smudging this under the lash line. And then I'm going a spot liner brush from the waver and just smudging out that black. And then on a pencil brush, I'm going to go and smudge out that black further with a brown shade from my Morphe 350 palette. Just lightly, because this isn't going to be like the main colour. I really want to bring some pink in. Then for my Juvia's Place palette, I'm taking Custard and buffing this right underneath that black shade, dragging it down quite far. And finally for the inner corner a little pop, I'm going to go in with Tarte from the Juvia's Place palette and mix it with Ice Queen and I'm going to place it on the inner corners. I'm going to just apply with some of your favourite bottom lash mascara to finish off the eyes. And feel free to coat your bottom lashes pretty heavily just because the bottom lash line is quite smoky. They can get quite lost so you just go in with a couple coats. And this completes today's eye makeup look. I told you guys it was going to be like extravagant. So guys, this concludes today's makeup look. Or oh, eye makeup look anyways. I really hope you enjoyed it. It's something really extravagant, really out there. It uses a few techniques, so it's a bit challenging, a bit more challenging for you guys. But I really love how it turned out. And the colours are just like, mm. Mm -mm -mm. So guys, this video has been pre-filmed. I'm currently away overseas and if I'm not commenting, like replying to your comments straight away or, you know, within a week, then I'm sorry. I will try to reply back as soon as possible. If you would like to be following me during my travels and my social media will be listed right here for you guys to follow. Otherwise, I hope you have an amazing day and if you guys haven't already, make sure to subscribe down below. Otherwise, I'll wrap this video up. Have an amazing day and I'll see you soon. Bye.